to the eighth episode of our European Journey Man on FM20. This could be the last episode with FC Smorgon, though. We have three games to go. We need to win all three, and we need Uzda to get a maximum of one point in those three matches. And we do play them as the second match as well. So this is going to be real tough to survive. Let's see what we can do. Alright, firstly, before we start the next matches, I'm going to quickly scroll down. Because there has been a takeover completed. Let me find where it is. It's quite a while back. Let me just look at it. Hmm. It was way too long ago now, but we have a new owner. Look in general, loves the club. He's not considering retiring anymore. Um, yet he still doesn't like me. I've tried to get another... Um, I tried to get another coaching license, but they refuse. I'm still on a national B. So I think I'm going to try to leave the club after this summer. It's just not been working out at all. And I doubt we're going to be able to do much. So, let's get into these first match against Orsha. And let's see if we can get survival, though. Because that would be good on um, on our resume. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, this will be. There we go. Alright. I'm going to start on cautious, but should it seem necessary, I'm probably going to go to attacking. Considering we are playing against at home against a team in a very similar league position as us. Mm, that's not good. <sighs> Barely over. Clear it out. Alright. Yeah, I'm going to switch to attacking here. I think we have to push a little bit more. With the possession that we do have. Tarashenko with the cross. Tarakunov. Petrov. Oh, Tarakunov was offside when he headed it over to Petrov. So it doesn't count. Very close. Yeah, here and... That... He's not offside. That's really frustrating. He's not offside. If you look at the lines. I have to push for a winner here. Sidor. Straight to Nika Ferenko, to Volodko, to Nika Ferenko, Tarakanov, Strelkovsky, Velko, Tarakanov, it's a four to Nika Ferenko, Rika Ferenko with the shot, and it's blocked! Oh my god, another incredible chance goes away, Stin. Volodko with the cross from the corner kick. And it goes wide, falls back to Volodko. Goes wide again, falls to Tarakanov, to Petrov. And that should be the end of the highlight. Come on. Ah, uh, we've had the chances. Okay, second half. Uh, you've been a better teamer, keep doing what you're doing. Come on. Oh no, they have a free kick. Babruchenkov. When this back, oh no, it falls right to Ivanov. And how has that gone in? Our chances keep failing miserably, but a more difficult chance for them goes right in. Now we have to score two. This might be it. Okay, let's go very attacking. Uh, oh, just as I was about to pause to make a substitution. Volodko, Tereshenko. And he loses the ball really poorly. Okay, Petrov wins it back on the header. Sevan. Who knocks it forward to Nika Ferenko? He has to score here. He scored. But it's offside? No, not again. This has to be close, though. Oh, no. That was way offside, as you can see in the distance. All right. Uh, Tereshenko's coming off for Lepton. Um, freak, I don't, know what, I don't know what else to do. Um... Keep pushing for boys, very attacking. Look go with the cross. Sidor. It goes over again. We've had so many better chances. 
but things keep going wrong. Alright, I'm taking off Nikoforenko for Drachev and Sevan for Poyakov. Come on, I, I can't change anything else up. This is all that it's going to be. You've been the better team here. Don't, don't let this be it. Don't let this be it. No, this is going to be it. A game where we dominated. Tarkovsky, Bagabov. Ivanov, don't make it worse. Don't make it worse. Kratoboev. Gritchika. Kozarez. Sustaitsev. Kratoboev. They're going to make it worse. Kozarez. Crosses him, and Petrov gives away the penalty. That's it. We're probably fired. And for such such a good run with Uzda even failing to perform in their match which would have been perfect for us this looks like it's gonna be it we're gonna fall up the final hurdle <sighs> incredibly disappointing their penalty and it goes in we we've been the better team we've had the better chances but we failed when it counted most. We failed. We've had more clear cut chances. That's it. I think I'm gone. Might have to find a new job. Let's see. The background changed to a regular color again. That means it's it. I'll probably leave anyway. Yeah. Yep, I've been fired. Ah, uh, I don't know what I have to do now. All right. Well, since this episode ended so early, which is very disappointing. Um, I'm going to keep going until I find a new job, and then we're going to play the first match of that, I guess. See you guys when we have an interview or an offer. Alright, suddenly in the space of 10 in-game minutes, we have found two job offers here. Um, one of them is from FF Jaro, which is in the Finnish Ikonen, like, league? Um, let's see, they were, I think they were, oh, they, they were pretty decent, they got pretty close, and they were in the promotion group stage, but weren't able to finish top there, um, so, actually looks like a decent job, if anything, let me actually see what type of players they have, they actually have, like, yeah, it's definitely a step up, they have real players, so it's, it's a good step, good step up from where we were at, honestly, might actually be able to do something with this team. And then the other job is from Avangard Kromsk from the Ukrainian League, so I wouldn't have to quote unquote move very far. Um and they Oh, their players actually have like insanely good value. But they were in the Ukrainian Persia Liga, where they're currently near the bottom. Let's just look at the players of the top team there. Yeah, okay, so their players are a little below the rest of the level, but, like, the team above them, Mikolaev, have players that should be beatable. So both of these look like great job opportunities, if anything. One where there's actually a good chance for uh, some type of promotion to the Vikos Liga, which is, uh, of course, the top tier. And then one of them where we could be managing in the Ukrainian Persia Liga, which is... Of course, the second tier of the Ukraine, where we might not be able to, like, win, but we might be able to survive. So I'm going to quickly do both of these interviews, and I'll see you guys again when I have a job offer or another interview. <laughs> Alright, so, moving on from the last clip, uh, we're back again, but both jobs, FF Jaro and Avangard Kramorsk, have hired other people, and I've rejected my interview, but I had a new interview from MSK Puchov in the second league of Slovakia, um, wait, I think it's the second league, yeah, it's the second league, 
And looking at their players, I mean, it's still kind of saying at the level we were at in Belarus, so it'll be, you know, difficult really to make any progress with this, comparing, especially comparing them to uh, the top of the league who have players valued quite a bit higher. But we might be able to do something, so I think I'm going to attend this interview because it does seem like an interesting job. Alright, so here we are, and we have another two job interviews. One at Oxford City in the National... The Motorama National League South. Um, which is... It's kind of weird, because... Yeah, there you go. It's the sixth tier of England, so all the way to the bottom that you can go to in the regular game, and it's again, it's for the team that's currently in the relegation zone around here. They've barely been... who did decently last year, but maybe lost certain players this season. I don't know. They look like a decent team. Um, of course, not too much value there. But it might be fun to manage in England for a little while. Uh, they've done decently recent, like decently not too long ago, so that might be a fun thing. And then another team in the Barca Liga, the other team of course rejected us. But we have Metalurg Saporizhka, who was just outside the relegation zone instead of Avantgarde, who was in it. Their players are of decent value. There's good players here. Dorianovsky has decent stats. Pavlenko. Um... So I think I'll probably be attending the interview both of these. I think both of them would be fun career opportunities. And like I said, I'll let you guys know again when the next chance occurs. Bye. Alright, so after going about two months through now and still having found a job, I'm going to call that for this episode. Um, and at the start of the next episode, I'll have simmed and found a job. So, disappointed that we got fired again, but hopefully we can find a better job for next time. See you guys. Bye.